Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create and utilize sales widgets in Thinkific to grow your revenue. If you're not familiar with sales widgets and why uh, they're beneficial and how they can help you grow revenue, I'll give you a short explanation and then I'll go right into showing you sort of how the widgets are created and some of the different ways that you can utilize it to grow revenues not only on your own site, but also uh, for affiliates. So sales widgets are really, if you think about it, like little code snippets. Now, don't worry about the details about the code, but they actually just allow you to uh, generate a code from your Thinkific platform and portal, and you just copy the code onto a website. Uh, if you're using WordPress, you can use it uh, on you know, Squarespace. It doesn't matter. It just, it's the idea that you can take this code and embed it onto another site, a blog, a post uh, that allows for code to be placed into it. And then it's a great way to then um, add uh, to your revenue because it's a great way to promote your course onto different um, funnels and or traffic sources. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this uh, will be pretty sh easy tutorial for most people. So just uh, log into your Thinkific site. I am logged into my Thinkific portal and I am going to go right into my development site, um, which is in this tab. And then in this tab, you'll see lots of different options. Um, in order to generate the sales widget, you'll wanna go into market and sell because that's where they'll um, show you the sales widgets. So click on the market and sell, and then you'll see sales widgets. And then click on sales widget, and here's where this is really cool. Like, so I have quite a few different kind of courses and bundles created. Um, we're just going to, for the purposes of this tutorial, apply it, to, uh, create a widget for one course. But like I said, you can create this for a bundle, um, for different kinds of series of courses. The idea is that these widgets um, really help promote your code. Um, the other thing I want to show you about the widget that's really cool, that I think is really cool, is that uh, this can then uh, help you then track. So if you're giving the code to someone to put on their blog to promote your course, sort of like an affiliate, you can then track it to an affiliate. So let's just say I create an affiliate um, already, and I'll select them. And so that any time that this code is on their website and there is a sale, I think it will automatically um, pay them out based on the percentage that I've selected. And I can go into that afterwards as well. And so this is, uh, let's just say I want to um, give them the widget for my launch your online course in six weeks because they are going to promote it on their blog where they mention um, all about how to build your own online course and sell. And so the idea is that this little widget is uh, sort of like a course card. And so I can have it customized in terms of button background and the text. Um, right now the button text doesn't really say much um, except sign up to learn about learning design, but I can also customize the text color so I can go with yellow. But the idea is still it doesn't, the color and these uh, button background colors really should match your business and brand so that it's consistent all around. You don't want someone to click on it and get a sense of mismatch uh, with the rest of your site. So it's fun to kind of play around with the background and color text, but uh, the most important thing is that it's consistent um, with your brand and your colors so that it's very uniform and that it really matches what you speak to. Um, and then the button, so when someone clicks on this button, it will take them to the checkout so that they can uh, sign up for the course and um, be part of my uh, growing list of uh, potential prospects and or customers. And then so right now the text says sign up to learn about learning design, but I can say, you know, uh, get started with best learning design practices. And so that text will then change. And the idea is this text really should convey what the goal of clicking on this button is. So I want them to say, get started, but let's just say I was charging for this. I can say then, um, you know, 
uh, buy or sign up for the course and get started on your business. Well, get started. Um, yeah. The real idea is you want to keep it simple, uh, straight to the point, and really convey kind of like a call to action. So uh, once that's done, I want to generate the code snippet. And this code snippet is unique to that specific product. So anytime you want to generate the widget for other products or other bundles, you want to repeat the steps again, but make sure you select the bundle and or course that you want the widget generated for. So I'm, I'm going to just copy this widget and this uh, copy this widget uh, code and just remember these are all just code and if you don't understand it don't worry there's no need to understand it or if you, no need to tweak it at this moment this is very just kind of get you started to sort of um, give this code to put on someone else's website put it on your own blog um, it really just gives you more traffic so I'm going to copy the snippet and then I'm going to go into my website um, I'm using Create Cloud. Uh, you can use, like I said, Squarespace, WordPress. Uh, the idea is that it works on any kind of uh, website. So if this is a blog, what I would do is in my blog post title, uh, these are all the different um, texts right now. What I want to do is click on Add Widget. Uh, this is how it's going to be for mine, but I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm going to add the code. And so if this is my blog post, what I'm going to do is I have to click on uh, the add code and then add it here. And then I'll paste my source code. And then once I've pasted it, I need to update. So now what you'll see is that um, I pasted this code and then I just need to uh, update it and then go back to the posts. And then you can uh, then see this uh, blog will have my code. Now, once it's uh, in there, now I want to just preview this um, blog post to see how it looks like, and then um, give you a sense of then what um, the idea is. So, if this is a blog post, this is my this is my kind of like demo blog. Now that I've pasted the code, you'll see that this is uh, where it is that this widget will show up. Now, the idea is that you will want to add a little bit of text. So if this is your blog, you can just say, uh, learn um, about growing and building an online business. And then you will just want to add text um, to add text for a blog post about um, online course business. So the idea is that any blog post that you have will then lead up to say, well, here is all this great information. And if you want to learn more, uh, my uh, colleague uh, has this great course that you can sign up for. And then it will show up and then people can uh, buy it from your affiliate. So that's one way of doing it. And I think uh, it's a great way because then it allows you to get more visibility, and more traffic. And it's just a great way then to add to your revenue because you're not only uh, just depending on a landing people coming to a landing page, but you're also generating more content uh, that um, gets traffic to uh, your course product sales. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, the only last tip I wanted to show you was the affiliate. And then if you go back to uh, support your students, go back to users. Um, this is where like the, I created a demo user and this is, I can then set the affiliate so that the uh, commission goes to this individual. And that once I make them an affiliate, there's an option to then assign commissions. I can say 50, but I can always change 60, whatever. It's just to show, show you that when you are uh, setting up the sales widget that you can attribute the uh, commission uh, to the uh, user and person appropriately uh, in Thinkific uh, through uh, this uh, tab here. So 
I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns. Uh, give this video a like, uh, subscribe, and let me know um, how I can help. Thanks again, and talk to you soon.